Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Taiwo and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching me, don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe button. But if you already subscribed to my video, you're one of my family, my people, don't forget to click on the like uh, on the like button. So let's talk about some of the best asylum cases. Like these are the cases that if an immigration sees you, that immigration lawyer, if any lawyer find that you have one of those people with this case, there's high chances of you winning your asylum claim. And uh, I'm not an immigration lawyer and uh, all this content, everything I'm gonna say in this video are based on research that I found online. So uh, the number one case is, is uh, number one case is uh, if you're from a war-torn country, like maybe your country is going through a civil war, you know, a crisis at the moment, and you find yourself in uh, in Canada. Uh, let's talk about the Ukraine-Russia war right now, and some other wars in Africa and all that. But it, currently right now, maybe from the Congo, let's say you're from Congo, right now that there's a civil war going on or you are from any other from a country whereby there's a civil war going on right now so there's a very high you have a very high chance of you winning your asylum claim because at least the whole world knows that oh there's a war going on and you don't want to go back to your country because of the war and all that so there you you have a very high chance of winning your claim and uh, the second, another case that I that have high chance of winning is if you're a member of an LGBT community back home in your home country, and you are the, the government is currently looking for you, or you will be prosecuted based on your sexual belief. Especially if you're from Uganda, uh, we all heard in the news that a few months ago uh, the Ugandan government, the president signed a law that any. LGBT found in that country will be sent to jail, maybe like I think 14 years imprisonment. And we have the same law also in Nigeria and some other countries around the world, or especially the Arab countries also, whereby you'll be killed based on your sexual belief. So if you can prove that to the judge that, hey, the, I'm, I'm, I'm an LGBT community back home, you know, these are the evidence to show for, you know, these are, the government is currently looking for me due to my belief, uh, my sexual belief, the government is currently looking for me and my family due to my sexual, due, due, due to the community that I have, man. So the, there is a newspaper publication about you, there is a video evidence to show for, there is, you know, different things you know documents that can prove that okay you are part you truly part of this community it's not as if maybe you just want to use it as a way around then there's a high chance of you winning your your case so um another uh, case i have that i know that has a very high chance of winning is uh, if you will be prosecuted in your own country due to your religious belief so let's say um, maybe you're from Iraq or these Arab countries whereby you converted to a Christian and you know uh, and they, they 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 want everyone to be a Muslim but because you don't want to be a Muslim you want to change to a Christian and because you now change to that Christianity you you converted to a Christian they 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 they, 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 they the government want to kill you the the your community want to uh, kill you because of your sexual belief or you know then you have a very high chance of you winning your case because uh, especially let's say iran iraq all those afghanistan and all this we all know that everyone there are muslim so you just have to be a muslim to live in that country so now if you're a christian you're a minority and because you're a minority you're a target to uh so many people because you know so many people you will definitely target you based on your religious belief and because of this you uh because of your target then you are at risk your life is at risk and there's so many evidence if you can show so many evidence that okay you're a christian now and you are being targeted in iraq in iran and all those things then you know especially if there's a new special paper publication that can prove that hey this person is a target of is or i believe then there's a very high chance of you winning your claim 
another case that has a very high chance of winning in the asylum court is if you're a member or if you're a uh, member of the opposition party or maybe you're a target of the current government of your country. Uh, I'm from Nigeria, so if uh, maybe every day I keep making video about the current government in my country due to the corruption, due to the crisis going on in my country now the government are looking for me maybe the president or someone is looking for me in the government and i'm a target of that you know they want to arrest me they want to kill me and all that with that i have a very high chance if you know to prove that hey uh, i you know i can't go back home because of this social reason because i'm a target back home and all that i'm just using that as an example so uh that is just it if you're a target in your own country that uh of the current government and all that like hey yeah the government is looking for me they want to kill me uh they want to arrest me you, you know they already arrested my family you know there there are so many evidence to show for you know especially if there's a newspaper publication if there is a video evidence a pictures evidence and you know something to prove that you're really saying the truth on all that so then you have a very high chance of you winning an asylum case back here right here in canada so now for this not everybody can apply for an asylum and i always say this many people think that oh especially in like there's there was a news uh last week that majority of the international students here in canada are now applying for an asylum and with that there will be a massive rejection in their application because not everybody can apply asylum if you're a student right here in canada you cannot apply for an asylum because you come in through a route and even if there's a change in maybe you cannot afford your school fee you cannot afford some you know your your living expenses in canada here yeah, that doesn't guarantee you that you can now go to your through the asylum's route because you come in through a route and as a student you a temporary per or, or permit so it shows during your application it shows that you already said it that you will go back home at the end of the study so at the end of the day even if you apply for an asylum even if they give you a work visa at the end of the day there's a very high chance that you will be sent back home you know you, there's i'm not an immigration lawyer but there's a very high chance that uh, or an immigration judge, but there's a very high chance that most of these cases will be denied, and that is just plain truth. So now, and most people do, uh, as an asylum in Canada, yeah, you'll be given a work permit due to the fact that the government don't want you to be a nuisance. So around, um, there, you know, within the community, they want you to work to make money to feed for yourself and all that. But at the end of the at the end of the day, if you don't have a good reason, a valid reason for claiming the asylum, then most applications have been rejected. Especially right now, before in Canada, right, uh, two judges are the one checking the application. So if your if the first judge approved your application and the second judge denied your claim, then you, you're good to go. But right now, most cases are being handled by just a single judge. And if that judge be like, feels like hey this is not a claim so there's nothing so you just have to leave the country and these are so with these reasons it's now have there is now high in, uh, chances of people being rejected because it was uh before like last year last two years two judges will be the one to handle a single case and uh, you know there are so many people that has that have been approved because of the two judges and all that but right now just a single judge if you don't have a valid reason there's no evidence to show off there's no good reason right now especially near here in canada uh you need a very very strong reason not just a reason but something with evidence like evidence to show for so even if you're a student that you converted to an asylum at least if you have a very strong backup reason like reasons to show for then you have a claim so you you have a reason so to to, to stay but if you don't maybe you changed uh, due to the fact that you cannot afford your school fee because you cannot live afford your living here or because you cannot do this at that then 
there is a very high chance of you being rejected at the end of the day so this will be the end of my video if you have a comment or anything to say don't forget to click on my you know uh don't forget to comment on my video i'll see you on the next one bye bye